hey guys this is your teacher teacher right thompson coming to you straight from home i am so excited today being that it's my first video my first teaching video that will be going out to my students oh my gosh i love you guys so much and i'm so happy that i'll be able to help you in this time of the pandemic I know being that I'm away from you, you guys have so much questions in terms of the subject area. And then sometimes it's so hard for, you know, teaching and learning to take place within sometimes your home environment. And when you have these videos, you can always go back to them and rewatch them for a better understanding. Good. And this is my first video. So guys, I want you to have all of the videos I will be sending to you. So the only way you can have all of these videos is by liking, subscribing definitely, and clicking the notification bell. As soon as the videos are released, you will get them when you click the notification bell. So subscribe and click the notification bell. Click, 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 click. Yes. Thank you. Now, let's get into the meat of the matter. Today we will be dealing with we'll be touching on the basic things that you guys need to understand about visual art now first thing is what is visual art hmm i gave you some time to think about it what is it now visual art is an expression of oneself using visual images so we're speaking about the sight it has to do with your sight. Visual images you now are things that you see basic, just basic and simple. Now, examples of, vis of, 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 of different visual art components are paintings, drawings, sculptures, and the list goes on. Now, in visual art, just like in food and nutrition, I don't know why I'm talking about food. I'm probably hungry. I don't know. But anyways, yes. Food, just like in food and nutrition, if you are baking a cake, there are things that you need to make this cake perfect. It's the same thing with visual art. There are things that you need to make your work aesthetically um, pleasing. Right? And these are called elements, elements of design. And what are the elements of design? Let me use a sample, elements of a cake. What are the elements of a cake? What are the things that make up a cake? No, what are the things that make up a design? If you take a look at this design here, you'll realize that you have lines, there are colors, there are shapes, and there is also space. Some books will refer to space as an element. Others may refer to it as something else. But yes, guys, now that we spoke about the elements, it's not all done. You have the ingredients to make your cake. You have all these elements to make your cake. You are going to definitely need the instruction as to how much of what you would need to put in that cake to make it perfect. You know, the ingredients of a cake, you're definitely going to need butter. You're going to need your sugar. You're going to need your eggs and so forth. No. You have all of those lined off on the table and are ready to bake. But you need to know how much eggs do I need to put in this cake to make it perfect. How much butter do I need? How much of the flour? How much of the sugar? It's the same thing with art. How much line do I need to make a certain thing stand out in my work? How much shape? Should I put what kind of color, texture, all of that? 
No, what is used to moderate, what is used to, 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 to manage these elements are something called principles. And the principles of design are basically the way in which the artist organize the elements to make the piece of work what it is. So an example, examples now of principles are like balance, rhythm, scale or proportion, unity, contrast, variety, and the list goes on. Now, on the elements. For the next video, we can go more in depth on the principles. No elements, lines. What is line? Line is a path made by a moving object. It's a path made by a moving object. And path can be zigzag. It can be spiral. A path can be curve. A path can be dotted a path can be zigzag and so forth now what i'd love you guys to understand being that visual art is an expression of oneself these elements that we use we need to understand that they all have their own personal meanings lines have their own meanings colors have their meanings shapes texture, form, space. They all have meanings. But I will have a video coming up very shortly about these elements and their meanings. Now, let's continue. We already stated what line is. Now, what is shape? <laughs> shape is something that you have been doing from basic school, right? But if I ask you right now to give me a definition of it, probably you start to baffle, but you know what it is. If I say, what is a shape? Some kids will just start to list them. Like, um, triangle, circle, rectangle, and all of these things. But a shape is basically an enclosed area that creates a space. These shapes also have their own meanings. And as an artist, you have to understand these meanings in order to use these elements to make your artwork what you want it to be. Because as we said, you are using these elements as a means of expression, expressing yourself to others. Color is a visual sensation dependent on the reflection or observation of light on a given surface there are three characteristics of colors hue intensity and value but i'm going to leave that for the video coming up about color because we're going to go in depth in all of these elements there are so much to learn about each element today is not it's not the video for it, <laughs> I should say, because it's a lot. Now, we know that colors have, there are three categories of colors, I would say. You have the primary colors, which are the basic and the first set of colors ever created. Then we have the secondary colors, and then we have the tertiary colors. As I said, we'll go into that another video. Let's continue. Texture. Texture refers to the surface quality of an object. When I speak of surface quality, I'm speaking about how it feels to the sense of touch. And not only touch, you can also experience texture by looking at it, by visually, by seeing it. So, by seeing the texture, without even touching it, I can look at something and say, okay, that is smooth, okay, that is rough, 
because what i am seeing it and that is what you call visual texture some persons will refer it to refer to it as non tactile texture so when you experience texture by touching it that is what we call tactile texture as I just said, you have tactile texture and you have non-tactile texture. And this is basically the way in which we experience these textures by touching and also by seeing it. Now, form is an element that it, it is concerned with dimension. And when I speak of dimension, that big D word, dimension i'm talking about measurement when we draw on a page it is two-dimensional that means that page it has length and it also have width so therefore if we draw a swimming pool on a page therefore that page with the swimming pool is two-dimensional it only has, as I said, length and width. Now, if we take in reality a swimming pool, it will therefore be more of a form. Why? Because you are able to walk around the swimming pool. And not only that, you are able to take a dive. Oh gosh, I wish I could do that at this moment. Take a dive into the swimming pool. And diving in a swimming pool, you have to be aware of the depth. <laughs> no. 3D objects all have length, width, and depth. And bear in mind, you can also view it in the round. When I speak about the round, you can view it from different angles. For example, a sculpture. You're creating a sculpture of my face. That sculpture one would be able to view that sculpture in its round. You can look at the back of the sculpture. You can walk around it. You look at the side. You can walk around and view the front. You can view it from the top. Right? So, it therefore, it takes up space. It takes up a big space. And it has mass. Okay, great. I'm so happy that you guys watched this video straight to the end next video coming up i will definitely go deeper 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 into these elements yes i know you guys want to know the meaning of the elements you want to know okay why such element is what it is and all of that so tune into my next video make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell share this with your friends it's it will be very very informative the videos coming up will be very informative and good for you in this time of the pandemic use it to help you in your revision i love you all i love you all so much and i miss you but let's do this thing together peace out